This high school sports presentation is brought to you by Service Master Clean. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes. Corey, Pam, and the entire staff supports the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Call today at 628-6712. Insurance planning. Insurance for the way you work and live. For business, home, and family. Value the price. Remember the service. Insurance planning. IPI Financial Services and Ag Pro Crop Insurance. Thirsties. Before or after the game, the best place for a hungry family, team, or individual is on North Vine in Hayes. It's Thirsty's Brew Pub and Grill. Check out their all-time favorites and new items on the menu, too. Patty Bacon Ryan Appraising, the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Contact Patty Bacon Ryan today. Next Tech Wireless. We are avid supporters of local high school athletic programs and have sponsored numerous high school events. We are committed to serving the communities we're in. Master Cleaners, reminding you that they have the lowest tux prices around. For your next prom, wedding, or special event, remember Master Cleaners. Cross Manufacturing, a proud supporter of local activities including local sports. It's Cross Manufacturing. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty. Patty Stoll has helped people find the homes of their dreams for many years. If you're ready to list, sell, and buy, contact Coldwell Banker Executive Realty of Hayes. Steel Fabrications. At Steel Fabrications, they know how to do it right. They also wish all the local high school athletes well in all they do. Lifetime Dental. Lifetime Dental Care provides your family health, function, and beauty. Check out all of their services at LifetimeDentalCare.com. Lifetime Dental Care of Hayes, always accepting new patients. Commercial Builder. Whether it's building a home, business, or even a remodel, Commercial Builders is ready to help you. Give them a call the next time you're needing construction. Whiskey Creek. When you have an appetite for the smoky flavors of food from the wood-fired grill, Whiskey Creek are always a great addition to your day. Paul Wurdenberger Construction. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wurdenberger Construction. TMP Marion Alumni. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP, worlds of opportunity. Investing for eternity. McDonald's of Hayes. A great place to go for you or the team on your way to and from the game. McDonald's, supporting local academic and sporting activities. GNL Tire, more than just tires, they do oil changes, alignments, brake service, transmission flushes, any kind of service work, including tires by Firestone and Bridgestone. Hayes Chevrolet, they have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks, vans, SUVs and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. NCK Tech. No matter what life you're trying to create, NCK Tech is here to help build a strong foundation, your local supporter of community events. Golden Plains Credit Union. We are dedicated to making a difference, not only in the lives of our members, but also in the communities we serve. We are people helping people. Classic Quality Body Shop. They've been serving customers for over 32 years, so you know they have been doing something right. Classic Quality Body Shop. This high school sports presentation is brought to you by Service Master Clean. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes. Corey, Pam, and the entire staff supports the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Call today at 628-6712. Insurance planning. Insurance for the way you work and live. For business, home, and family. Value the price. Remember the service. Insurance planning. IPI Financial Services and Ag Pro Crop Insurance. 
Thirsties. Before or after the game, the best place for a hungry family, team, or individual is on North Vine and Hayes. It's Thirsties Brew Pub and Grill. Check out their all-time favorites and new items on the menu, too. Patty Bacon Ryan Appraising, the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Contact Patty Bacon Ryan today. Next Tech Wireless. We are avid supporters of local high school athletic programs and have sponsored numerous high school events. We are committed to serving the communities we're in. Master Cleaners, reminding you that they have the lowest tux prices around. For your next prom, wedding, or special event, remember Master Cleaners. Cross Manufacturing, a proud supporter of local activities including local sports. It's Cross Manufacturing. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty. Patty Stoll has helped people find the homes of their dreams for many years. If you're ready to list, sell, and buy, contact Coldwell Banker Executive Realty of Hayes. Steel Fabrications. At Steel Fabrications, they know how to do it right. They also wish all the local high school athletes well in all they do. Lifetime Dental. Lifetime Dental Care provides your family health, function, and beauty. Check out all of their services at LifetimeDentalCare.com. Lifetime Dental Care of Hayes, always accepting new patients. Commercial Builder. Whether it's building a home, business, or even a remodel, Commercial Builders is ready to help you. Give them a call the next time you're needing construction. Whiskey Creek. When you have an appetite for the smoky flavors of food from the wood-fired grill, Whiskey Creek are always a great addition to your day. Paul Wurdenberger Construction. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wurdenberger Construction. TMP Marion Alumni. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP, Worlds of Opportunity, Investing for Eternity. McDonald's of Hayes, a great place to go for you or the team on your way to and from the game. McDonald's, supporting local academic and sporting activities. GNL Tire. More than just tires, they do oil changes, alignments, brake service, transmission flushes, any kind of service work including tires by Firestone and Bridgestone. Hayes Chevrolet. They have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks, vans, SUVs, and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. NCK Tech. No matter what life you're trying to create, NCK Tech is here to help build a strong foundation, your local supporter of community events. Golden Plains Credit Union. We are dedicated to making a difference, not only in the lives of our members, but also in the communities we serve. We are people helping people. Classic Quality Body Shop. They've been serving customers for over 32 years, so you know they have been doing something right. Classic Quality Body Shop. This high school sports presentation is brought to you by Service Master Clean. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes. Corey, Pam, and the entire staff supports the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Call today at 628-6712. Insurance planning. Insurance for the way you work and live. For business, home, and family. Value the price. Remember the service. Insurance Planning, IPI Financial Services, and Ag Pro Crop Insurance. Thirsties. Before or after the game, the best place for a hungry family, team, or individual is on North Vine and Hayes. It's Thirsties Brew Pub and Grill. Check out their all-time favorites and new items on the menu, too. Patty Bacon Ryan Appraising the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Contact Patty Bacon Ryan today. Next Tech Wireless. We are avid supporters of local high school athletic programs and have sponsored numerous high school events. We are committed to serving the communities we're in. Master Cleaners, reminding you that they have the lowest tux prices around. 
For your next prom, wedding, or special event, remember Master Cleaners. Cross Manufacturing, a proud supporter of local activities including local sports. It's Cross Manufacturing. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty. Patty Stoll has helped people find the homes of their dreams for many years. If you're ready to list, sell, and buy, contact Coldwell Banker Executive Realty of Hayes. Steel Fabrications. At Steel Fabrications, they know how to do it right. They also wish all the local high school athletes well in all they do. Lifetime Dental. Lifetime Dental Care provides your family health, function, and beauty. Check out all of their services at LifetimeDentalCare.com. Lifetime Dental Care of Hayes, always accepting new patients. Commercial Builder. Whether it's building a home, business, or even a remodel, Commercial Builders is ready to help you. Give them a call the next time you're needing construction. Whiskey Creek. When you have an appetite for the smoky flavors of food from the wood-fired grill, Whiskey Creek are always a great addition to your day. Paul Wurdenberger Construction. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wurdenberger Construction. TMP Marion Alumni. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP, Worlds of Opportunity. Investing for Eternity. McDonald's of Hayes. A great place to go for you or the team on your way to and from the game. McDonald's, supporting local academic and sporting activities. GNL Tire, more than just tires, they do oil changes, alignments, brake service, transmission flushes, any kind of service work including tires by Firestone and Bridgestone. Hayes Chevrolet, they have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks, vans, SUVs and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. NCK Tech. No matter what life you're trying to create, NCK Tech is here to help build a strong foundation, your local supporter of community events. Golden Plains Credit Union. We are dedicated to making a difference, not only in the lives of our members, but also in the communities we serve. We are people helping people. Classic Quality Body Shop. They've been serving customers for over 32 years, so you know they have been doing something right. Classic Quality Body Shop. This high school sports presentation is brought to you by Service Master Clean. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes. Corey, Pam, and the entire staff supports the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Call today at 628-6712. Insurance planning. Insurance for the way you work and live. For business, home, and family. Value the price. Remember the service. Insurance planning. IPI Financial Services and Ag Pro Crop Insurance. Thirsties. Before or after the game, the best place for a hungry family, team, or individual is on North Vine and Hayes. It's Thirsties Brew Pub and Grill. Check out their all-time favorites and new items on the menu, too. Patty Bacon Ryan Appraising, the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Contact Patty Bacon Ryan today. Next Tech Wireless. We are avid supporters of local high school athletic programs and have sponsored numerous high school events. We are committed to serving the communities we're in. Master Cleaners, reminding you that they have the lowest tux prices around. For your next prom, wedding, or special event, remember Master Cleaners. Cross Manufacturing, a proud supporter of local activities including local sports. It's Cross Manufacturing. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty, Patty Stoll has helped people find the homes of their dreams for many years. If you're ready to list, sell, and buy, contact Coldwell Banker Executive Realty of Hayes. Steel Fabrications. At Steel Fabrications, they know how to do it right. They also wish all the local high school athletes well in all they do. Lifetime Dental. Lifetime Dental Care provides your family health, function, and beauty. 
Check out all of their services at LifetimeDentalCare.com. Lifetime Dental Care of Hayes, always accepting new patients. Commercial Builder. Whether it's building a home, business, or even a remodel, Commercial Builders is ready to help you. Give them a call the next time you're needing construction. Whiskey Creek. When you have an appetite for the smoky flavors of food from the wood-fired grill, Whiskey Creek are always a great addition to your day. Paul Wurdenberger Construction. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wurdenberger Construction. TMP Marion Alumni. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. McDonald's of Hayes, a great place to go for you or the team on your way to and from the game. McDonald's, supporting local academic and sporting activities. GNL Tire. More than just tires, they do oil changes, alignments, brake service, transmission flushes, any kind of service work including tires by Firestone and Bridgestone. Hayes Chevrolet. They have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks, vans, SUVs, and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. NCK Tech. No matter what life you're trying to create, NCK Tech is here to help build a strong foundation, your local supporter of community events. Golden Plains Credit Union. We are dedicated to making a difference, not only in the lives of our members, but also in the communities we serve. We are people helping people. Classic Quality Body Shop. They've been serving customers for over 32 years, so you know they have been doing something right. Classic Quality Body Shop. This high school sports presentation is brought to you by Service Master Clean. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes. Corey, Pam, and the entire staff supports the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Call today at 628-6712. Insurance Planning. Insurance for the way you work and live. For business, home, and family. Value the price. Remember the service. Insurance Planning, IPI Financial Services, and Ag Pro Crop Insurance. Thirsties, before or after the game, the best place for a hungry family, team, or individual is on North Vine in Hayes. It's Thirsties Brew Pub and Grill. Check out their all-time favorites and new items on the menu, too. Patty Bacon Ryan Appraising the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Contact Patty Bacon Ryan today. Next Tech Wireless. We are avid supporters of local high school athletic programs and have sponsored numerous high school events. We are committed to serving the communities we're in. Master Cleaners, reminding you that they have the lowest tux prices around. For your next prom, wedding, or special event, remember Master Cleaners. Cross Manufacturing, a proud supporter of local activities including local sports. It's Cross Manufacturing. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty, Patty Stoll has helped people find the homes of their dreams for many years. If you're ready to list, sell, and buy, contact Coldwell Banker Executive Realty of Hayes. Steel Fabrications. At Steel Fabrications, they know how to do it right. They also wish all the local high school athletes well in all they do. Lifetime Dental. Lifetime Dental Care provides your family health, function, and beauty. Check out all of their services at LifetimeDentalCare.com. Lifetime Dental Care of Hayes, always accepting new patients. Commercial Builder. Whether it's building a home, business, or even a remodel, Commercial Builders is ready to help you. Give them a call the next time you're needing construction. Whiskey Creek. When you have an appetite for the smoky flavors of food from the wood-fired grill, Whiskey Creek are always a great addition to your day. Paul Wurdenberger Construction. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wurdenberger Construction. 
TMP Marion alumni. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. McDonald's of Hayes, a great place to go for you or the team on your way to and from the game. McDonald's, supporting local academic and sporting activities. GNL Tire, more than just tires, they do oil changes, alignments, brake service, transmission flushes, any kind of service work including tires by Firestone and Bridgestone. Hayes Chevrolet, they have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks, vans, SUVs and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. NCK Tech. No matter what life you're trying to create, NCK Tech is here to help build a strong foundation, your local supporter of community events. Golden Plains Credit Union. We are dedicated to making a difference, not only in the lives of our members, but also in the communities we serve. We are people helping people. Classic Quality Body Shop. They've been serving customers for over 32 years, so you know they have been doing something right. Classic Quality Body Shop. This high school sports presentation is brought to you by Service Master Clean. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes. Corey, Pam, and the entire staff supports the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Call today at 628-6712. Insurance planning, insurance for the way you work and live, for business, home, and family. Value the price, remember the service. Insurance planning, IPI Financial Services, and Ag Pro Crop Insurance. Thirsties, before or after the game, the best place for a hungry family, team, or individual is on North Vine and Hayes. It's Thirsties Brew Pub and Grill. Check out their all-time favorites and new items on the menu too. Patty Bacon Ryan Appraising, the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Contact Patty Bacon Ryan today. Next Tech Wireless. We are avid supporters of local high school athletic programs and have sponsored numerous high school events. We are committed to serving the communities we're in. Master Cleaners, reminding you that they have the lowest tux prices around. For your next prom, wedding, or special event, remember Master Cleaners. Cross Manufacturing, a proud supporter of local activities including local sports. It's Cross Manufacturing. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty, Patty Stoll has helped people find the homes of their dreams for many years. If you're ready to list, sell, and buy, contact Coldwell Banker Executive Realty of Hayes. Steel Fabrications. At Steel Fabrications, they know how to do it right. They also wish all the local high school athletes well in all they do. Lifetime Dental. Lifetime Dental Care provides your family health, function, and beauty. Check out all of their services at LifetimeDentalCare.com. Lifetime Dental Care of Hayes, always accepting new patients. Commercial Builder. Whether it's building a home, business, or even a remodel, Commercial Builders is ready to help you. Give them a call the next time you're needing construction. Whiskey Creek. When you have an appetite for the smoky flavors of food from the wood-fired grill, Whiskey Creek are always a great addition to your day. Paul Wurdenberger Construction. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wurdenberger Construction. TMP Marion Alumni. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. McDonald's of Hayes, a great place to go for you or the team on your way to and from the game. McDonald's, supporting local academic and sporting activities. GNL Tire, more than just tires, they do oil changes, alignments, brake service, transmission flushes, any kind of service work including tires by Firestone and Bridgestone. Hayes Chevrolet, 
They have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks, vans, SUVs, and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. NCK Tech. No matter what life you're trying to create, NCK Tech is here to help build a strong foundation, your local supporter of community events. Golden Plains Credit Union. We are dedicated to making a difference, not only in the lives of our members, but also in the communities we serve. We are people helping people. Classic Quality Body Shop. They've been serving customers for over 32 years, so you know they have been doing something right. Classic Quality Body Shop. This high school sports presentation is brought to you by Service Master Clean. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes. Corey, Pam, and the entire staff supports the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Call today at 628-6712. Insurance Plan. Insurance for the way you work and live. For business, home, and family. Value the price. Remember the service. Insurance Planning. IPI Financial Services and Ag Pro Crop Insurance. Thirsties. Before or after the game, the best place for a hungry family, team, or individual is on North Vine and Hayes. It's Thirsties Brew Pub and Grill. Check out their all-time favorites and new items on the menu, too. Patty Bacon Ryan Appraisal. The lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Contact Patty Bacon Ryan today. Next Tech Wireless. We are avid supporters of local high school athletic programs and have sponsored numerous high school events. We are committed to serving the communities we're in. Master Cleaners, reminding you that they have the lowest tux prices around. For your next prom, wedding, or special event, remember Master Cleaners. Cross Manufacturing, a proud supporter of local activities including local sports. It's Cross Manufacturing. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty. Patty Stoll has helped people find the homes of their dreams for many years. If you're ready to list, sell, and buy, contact Coldwell Banker Executive Realty of Hayes. Steel Fabrications. At Steel Fabrications, they know how to do it right. They also wish all the local high school athletes well in all they do. Lifetime Dental. Lifetime Dental Care provides your family health, function, and beauty. Check out all of their services at LifetimeDentalCare.com. Lifetime Dental Care of Hayes, always accepting new patients. Commercial Builder. Whether it's building a home, business, or even a remodel, Commercial Builders is ready to help you. Give them a call the next time you're needing construction. Whiskey Creek. When you have an appetite for the smoky flavors of food from the wood-fired grill, Whiskey Creek are always a great addition to your day. Paul Wardenberger Construction. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wardenberger Construction. TMP Marion Alumni. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. McDonald's of Hayes, a great place to go for you or the team on your way to and from the game. McDonald's, supporting local academic and sporting activities. GNL Tire, more than just tires, they do oil changes, alignments, brake service, transmission flushes, any kind of service work including tires by Firestone and Bridgestone. Hayes Chevrolet, they have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks, vans, SUVs, and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. NCK Tech, no matter what life you're trying to create, NCK Tech is...
Underway as the uh, TFP Lady Monarchs take on the Great Bid Lady Panthers. We welcome you aboard for this non-conference matchup here on the uh, Tuesday night for these two teams. The Lady Monarchs come in at 12 and 4 on the season and uh, still a perfect 7 and 0 out of the Mid Continent League, even though they step out of league play here this evening. Meanwhile, the Great Bid Panthers are 1 and 16 on the season and 0 and 6 in the Western Athletic Conference there. we we'll run through the starting lineups on the floor so we can run through those for you once again as well. Lady Monarchs will be in their road blue uniforms with the uh, Monarchs across the front and uh, the uh, uh, white numbers trimmed in gray. Meanwhile, Gray Bend will be in their home white uniforms. The red numbers, uh, the uh, red Gray Bend across the front and the black numbers trimmed in red. That's our uniform update presented by Phase 2 from Business Polos to Team Gear. Your first choice should be Phase 2 screen printing and embroidery. No minimum order. Plus four turnarounds on Phase 2 printing and embroidery. This guy for buying on 22nd Street next to Big Guys are in the Again, they're running through the starting lineup. So let's do that as well. Monarchs will start in the shoes. Emily Lane, Adele Riedel, and Kylie Allen. Meanwhile, they bring in Lady of Panthers. We'll start Alyssa Keller, Jenna Maller, Kelly Unruh, Sydney Unruh, and Candace Smith. So that's a look at the starting lineups as we're just about ready to get this one on the way. Josh, it's like a Dave Barber here with you from Beckham High School. And uh, looking for a uh, quick start here for the Lady Monarchs, Dave. Yeah, I mean, uh, a team that uh, you know was hungry for a win coming in at 1 and 16, but uh, if you can get on them early, you rattle them a little bit, shake their confidence, you don't want to give them a chance to stay in this game. About ready for our opening tip off. It's presented by Steel Fabrications. Whether you need a built, fixed, welded, or sandblasted, look no further than Steel Fabrications on East Highway 40 and A's. Steel Fabrications, the Iron Man. Western Kansas Lady Monarchs sit down to our left and we'll shoot to our right here in the first half. We sit just behind the scores table. Meanwhile, the uh, Great Bend Lady Panthers will shoot right, right in front of us down to our left as we are just about ready to get this one underway. Steel Fabrications opening tip off as Emily Lane set to jump center for the Lady Monarchs against Candace Smith and Lane will win the tip so the Lady Monarchs will shoot down to our right here in this first half they'll go from left to right to open this one up with 7.50 to go here in this opening quarter Lady Monarchs go with Allen here's a quick pass left side for Jillian Lowe who's three runs in and out but shippers down with a rebound and then loses it out of bounds they say deflected by Gray Ben and so the Lady Monarchs will keep possession of the basketball a good job of keeping it alive by shippers underneath, getting in good position to get the offensive board and maintain possession for the Monarchs. Monarchs will key it in over the top and play it right side for shippers. Emily will drive, cut up on the dribble. Here's a quick kick out that's good for a three for Kylie Allen. So Lady Monarchs get a three for a second game in a row for Kylie Allen and jump out to a 3 nothing lead. Seven and a half to go here in this opening quarter. Lowe nearly stole away at the top of the key. Instead, they'll get a right side. Here's Unruh. Her shot too strong. Great right box out on the rebound down to Shippers. She's got a couple of first quarter rebounds. As Lowe will race into the front court. Nobody guarding Jillian. She thought about taking the shot. Instead, will dump it off the high post to Lane against that great bend zone defense. Although it looks like it's a uh, box and one. They're matched up with Shippers. Here's a quick trigger right side on a three for Adele Rito that misses everything. And a backside rebound pulled out of there by Keller and now Gray Ben will turn it over up the floor. Maller couldn't handle the pass right in front of the Monarch bench and it's right back over to the Lady Monarchs after the first Gray Ben turnover. Yeah, they're they're working the perimeter a little bit and, and uh, box and one like you said and they're they're packed in pretty tight on the inside on the zone so they're going to have to work it in and out a little bit. Senior Kaylee Unruh is uh, guarding as uh, shippers as she follows Emily wherever she goes. So Coach Carrie Minton decides that uh, it's a box and one to start out this game and Monarchs Jillian Lowe put it on the floor at it blocked, got her own rebound, they kicks out for a deep two that goes for Emily Lane, the Monarchs are out to a 5-2 start following the Emily Lane field goal. Six and a half to go here in this 
opening quarter after that pass was or that uh, shot rather was deflected and right back for an offensive rebound. Here's a kick out three on the other end that's too strong for Maller. Rebound tracked down by Adele Riedel as she gets cut off near the timeline, gets tied up and has it taken away. It's taken away into the front court. Unruh bobbled it into the lane. Good defense forces a tough shot, but it'll rattle home over the top of uh, Jillian Lowe. And so Unruh's able to get that field goal to go. Her first bucket of the game was 5 to 2. So senior Unruh gets great bend on the board with 5.51 to play here in this uh, first half. Here's a kick out and a three that's good for Jillian Lowe. So Jillian Lowe knocks down her first three, and the Monarchs have a couple of early threes and are out to an 8 2 lead. Oh, the other shooter's got to find the mark to get to draw that box and one off Emily. So. Pretty good job so far, getting a couple of early threes. Here's a kick out left side for Candace Smith. She'll back up, take the left wing three off that baseline and miss it, and a rebound down to Lowe. And she's going to be fouled. A reach in on the sophomore Sydney Unruh after the rebound for Lowe. 5.24 to go here in this opening quarter. Monarchs on an 8-2 run. They get threes from Lowe and Allen and lead here by six. Allie Latham, the 5'6 sophomore, will check in for the first time. Great pin. Also... Another substitution, Taryn Warren checks in for the first time as well. Here's a, uh, Lane had it knocked away, but into the hands of Adele Riedel. Out of Jillian Lowe, straight on. They'll post up Shippers with some contact, and she'll draw the foul on the floor on Hallie Latham. So the Monarchs are able to get it in deep that time and draw the foul. Uh, Jason Emily all over the floor. That's going to wear you down, and she got good position inside. Got it to her. 5.06 to play here in this first quarter. Monarchs with an 8-2 lead. Here's a kick out for Adele Riedel, who can't quite hit the three. That one off the side of the rim and that backboard and rebound tracked down by Gray Bennett. Here they come up the floor. Candace Smith able to bang it home from the right side. And she'll cut the Monarch lead in half at 8-4 to four with 4.50 and counting here in this opening quarter after the run out for Gray Bennett. Monarchs get it to Shippers at the high post. She'll slide down the lane. Here's a Kylie Allen kick out three that is too strong. Kylie follows it. Will pull down the rebound and follow it home with the layup. Kylie Allen with five here in the first quarter. 10-4 Monarchs with the lead. That's why you follow your shot, man. Got an easy opportunity off the rim. First rebound here for Allen as we'll get a foul called in the lane on the Lady Monarchs. They call a hold on Shippers. Her first. Eli, uh, first. 10 to 4 lead for the Monarchs. 420 to go here in this opening quarter. And then we'll key it in with Maller on the baseline. She'll just lob it over the top. Play it off to the right side and Unruh. Here's Maller who got it back, can't hit the jumper. And then uh, Emily Lane got poked in the eye, pulling down the rebound. And that will be a foul on Candace Smith after the rebound by Emily Lane who got bumped inside. And she's going to have to come out of the ball game. Sasha Wassinger will check in. She got poked in the eye, so they'll take a look at Emily here on the near sideline, and she'll get a quick breather. After pulling down that rebound again, poked in the eye, drawing the foul, and then the Monarchs nearly turn it over into the front court. Zell Riedel had to track it down on that left far side. At a low right wing, they'll lob it in for Wassinger. Tough catch for Sasha, who can't bank it home, got her own miss, and puts up the follow, and will put it home. Sasha Wassinger able to pull down her own miss, and the Monarchs out to a 12-4 lead. The Monarchs doing a great job on the offensive glass early. There's a quick shot in by Gray Ben off the mark and a rebound down to Wassinger and here come the Lady Monarchs up the floor as Adele Riedel was cut out finds Shipper she's open she'll launch a three that is off the mark and a rebound pulled out of there by Candace Smith and now Gray Ben looks to run into the front court here comes Unruh Unruh working against Riedel cut off they'll kick it out for Warren now here's a drive by Latham she'll kick it right side Maller for three that'll skip off and a good check out and rebound for Adele Riedel as she was able to pull it out of a crowd with 3.20 to go here in this first quarter. Monarchs out to an eight-point lead at 12-4. to Riedel nearly had it poked away, and now Julian Lowe will set up the offense. We're closing on three minutes to go here in this opening quarter. High post for Wassinger. Bosch uh, nearly had it knocked away. In fact, did, and has it stolen. For the first lady, Monarch turnover the ball game, running into the front court, having it blocked is Maller, and then she got it back out of bounds. So a blocked shot by Lowe, working against Jenna Maller, and the ball will go back over to the lady Monarchs after a great defensive play. with 
Low and Allen, Wassinger, Shippers, and Riedel. After the Monarchs freshman Emily Lane got poked in the eye, and here's a, a bad pass stolen away by Gray Ben as Low and Riedel weren't on the same page into the front court. Unruh had it knocked away, but right into the hands of Ashlyn Harbaugh, who will lay it home. The Monarch offense turns it over, leads to a bucket. It's 12 6. Monarchs with the lead. Two and a half to go here in this first quarter. Shippers puts it on the floor and will draw the foul, driving down the left side. Well, Shippers is going to head to the free throw line. Actually, they'll call it on the floor. Foul is on number 24, Allie Latham, her second. As Latham will pick up her second. Number 14, Andy Andrew. Call it on the floor. Looks like that should have been in the shooting motion, and now we're going to get an offensive foul call on the Monarchs on an illegal screen on Sasha Wassinger. Great middle will get a back following the third Monarch turnover. And that foul just a second on the Monarchs. Great bid in the front court. 12-6 Monarchs with the lead. Here's a handoff for Latham who can't finish underneath. Rebound down to Shippers who saves it off of Jenna Mauer and it's out of bounds. And it will be Monarch basketball. Good hustle by Shippers. To throw that out for Maller and keep possession for the Monarchs. Yeah, yeah, heads up play because she had absolutely nowhere to go with it but step out of bounds. Jalen Lowe will bring it into the front court for the Monarchs. Play left side for Adele Riedel. Wassinger's trying to post up. Instead, they'll go to Shippers straight on top of the key. Right wing for Lowe. Jillian Ball above her head for a moment. Directing traffic. Trying to dump it inside for Wassinger, and it's deflected. And uh, out of bounds last touched inside by Taryn Warren. So trying to force it in to Sasha Wassinger. With well, a minute 54 to play here in this first half. Megan Hamel will check in for the Lady Monarchs. So she'll replace Adele Riedel. 12-6, Monarchs with the lead. Sydney Unruh, the 5-3 sophomore, returns to the great bid lineup. She'll replace Howie Latham. So the sophomore, Sydney Unruh, replaces the sophomore Latham. Here's a lob over the top for Wassinger on the inbounds. Sasha can't quite convert. Rebound, though, down to Shippers. Shippers little step through and banks it home. Emily Shippers with her first field goal, following her fourth first quarter rebound. It's 14-6, Monarchs with the lead. They just continue to crash the glass on the offensive end. 140 and counting here. Great bend in the inside, and the bench shot goes. Wide open was Ashlyn Harbaugh. She has four. That's 14 to 8. She found a soft spot in that zone. Monarchs lead is six once again. A minute 20, and now a ball poked away from Shippers and taken away. It's the fourth Monarch turnover into the other end. Under is going to draw the foul and go to the free throw line. So with 1.15 to go here in this opening quarter, Monarchs lead by six at 14 to eight. I'm going to say Andrew was in the uh, shooting motion. Megan Hamel, Megan Hamel trying to get back there and cut her off on the defense, kind of leaned into it and picked up that foul. She had a nice spark the other night, though, so see how she gets them going tonight. Andre too strong on the fourth one, or on the uh, first one. Kayla just a 40% Free throw shooter is Emily Lane. Will check in for the Monarchs. So good to see Emily, Emily back in after they poked in the eye earlier in this quarter. Wassinger, it's a nice hand uh, as she checks out. Sasha, uh, Sasha with a, a couple of rebounds, a couple of points here in this first quarter. Unruh goes 0 of 2 at the line. Rebound down to Candace Smith, though, on the inside. And she traveled with it, trying to keep it away from the Lady Monarchs. And so that's just the second Great Ben turnover, make it the third Great Ben turnover, and the Monarchs get it back. Monarchs on top as we close in on one minute to go here in this first quarter at 14 to 8. Allen has it left side, now to Shippers. Right wing for Megan Hamel. Look at inside. Lane will post up on that right low block, put it on the floor, needs some help, hands it off to Lowe, who's going to draw the foul inside. Julian bailed out Emily on that inside, and now Lowe's going to head to the free throw line for a couple of free throws here. Number 11, oh, good job going at the basket, really not putting the ball on the floor after she took that. No way they weren't going to foul her. So, Julian Lowe knocks down the first free throw. Monarch's lead is seven. Lowe had just one point in that win over Phillipsburg, but already with four here, she goes one of two at the free throw line. And rebound cleared bound by Gray Ben, and then lost out of bounds. They say last touch by the Monarchs. So a break for Great Bend. Someone squirted away, and the Monarchs 
have a seven point lead at 15 to 8, 45 seconds to go here in this opening quarter. Gray Ben will get it for Unruh. Kaylee knifes into the lane, missed it. Lane had the rebound knocked away, and Unruh can't save it as she's on the end line of the ball back to the Monarchs. Gray Ben one shot it out, that possession down the floor. One and done, and no 36 seconds to play here in this first quarter. Monarchs have a seven point lead at 15 to 8. Open the game on an 8-2 run. Kimmel running the points, and Megan traveled with it. She's trying to hand it off to Jillian Lowe, and a little miscommunication that time. The Monarchs, their fifth turnover here in the first quarter. It's been the one thing that hasn't gone so well for the Monarchs here in this opening quarter. Under 20 seconds to play in the quarter. Unruh got into the lane and then threw it away. It's taken away after the deflection by Lowe as Hamel was the one who came away with it. And now Jillian by the bank home the runner. Missed it. Fight for the rebound inside. It's taken away by Maller as Jenna Maller will pull down her first rebound of the contest. And now into the front court. Lowe gets it back. And the Monarchs won't get a shot off to end that first quarter, but still lead by seven at 15 to eight. As we head to the second quarter on the Monarch Sports Network, serviced by Desano Repair. Classic Quality Body Shop has had the pleasure of serving this area since 1984. Much like a sports team, Shelton and his team have worked hard, grown together, and followed the playbook of taking care of customers to become one of the most highly regarded body shops in the area. Support your local team, whether on the field or when choosing who you do business with. Thank you, thank you for choosing the style. Classic Quality Body Shop. See their ad in the next tech directory. Good morning. Everyone in Hay says you can clean anything, so can you get this tough stain out? Grape jelly, we can get that out. Wow, you guys really are good. Master Cleaners in Hayes offers a variety of services including dry cleaning, alterations, laundry, tuxedo rentals, and free pickup and delivery. This is Eagle TV. Monarch Athletics brought to you apart by Heartland Building Center, Midwest Energy, USA Pharmacy, and it gives auto supply. Out of the timeout, Monarchs here after one quarter of action lead 15 to 8. Ray Ben will have the basketball shooting down to our left in front of the Monarch bench as they bring Jacqueline Schrader in for the first time. She had a big game against the Monarchs earlier this season, one of uh, her two double-figure performances. Here's a, a handoff and a shot by Unruh as she slid down the lane, couldn't quite convert, and Kylie Allen comes down with it. Now the Monarchs look to run low, left side for Lane, and it poked away and stolen. Good idea on the fast break, but the Monarchs already with six first-half turnovers, and now here comes Gray Ben. Unruh, travel, nope. They're gonna call her for a, call Monarchs for a foul. Looked like she, uh, Hey, to shuffle those feet early, but instead it'll be a foul on the Monarchs. Jillian Lowe gets her first. 15-8, Monarchs with the lead. We've had a little over 25 seconds here into this second quarter. Great bin of the basketball. Sydney Unruh, a little step back three. That's good. Sydney Unruh buries her first field goal. And it's 15 to 11. Monarchs move up to just four after the Unruh three with 7.25 to go here in this first half. Under the uh, the other end, rather, a shot that's off the mark from three by Shippers with the offensive rebound of the putback and a chance for a free throw and a three-point play here for Adele Riedel. Uh, she was able to get that follow to go. The Monarchs lead 17 to 11. They kind of snuck in there amongst the bigs and got that shot up strong. I think she went to the left hand with it. Monarchs lead by six as Riedel will shoot the free throw and rattle it home, 18 to 11. The Monarchs build a seven point lead again with 7-14 to play here in this first half. Three points for Riedel after that free throw. And the Monarchs again that seven point lead matches their largest lead here of this second quarter, led by eight back in the first quarter. With seven minutes to play in this first half. Unruh on a little backdoor pass, traveled with it. So Sydney Unruh got in among the trees, and Gray Ben will turn it over for the sixth time of the contest. Yeah, Emily Lane jumping over there on the defense with the help, and that really forced that turnover as she wasn't expecting her to be right there when she caught that pass. Monarchs leading by seven at 18 to 11 out there with Lowe. She'll play it for Lane. 
Now they just skip it right side for Callie Allen, top of the key. Lowe trying to dump it inside for Shipper, had it poked away in the lane, but right back into the hands of Lowe. Now right side, here's a kick out three for Adel Rito that misses everything and a backside rebound tracked down by Unruh. And here comes the great pin break as they run up the far sideline with Unruh, got all the way to the bucket, but couldn't finish and a rebound cleared out of there by the Monarchs Emily Lane. And now leading the Monarch break is uh, Jillian Lowe who fights Kylie Allen who goes up and under, can't finish. Kylie fights for the rebound. Instead, it's Riedel who will come away with it and will get a held ball as the uh, arrow on the alternate possession will stay with the Monarchs. So Monarchs get it back after the alternate possession with 6-16 to play here in the second quarter. They lob it inside for Lane, who's going to draw the foul. This will be on Harbaugh as Emily Lane hits to the free throw line for the first time. First foul on the 5'8 sophomore Ashlyn oh, no, Harbaugh. Ashlyn Harbaugh, her first Panthers 17th foul. Shooting two. And the uh, first free throw rims in and out by Emily Lane. 58% free throw shooter. Kind of got robbed on that one. I'm not sure how that came out. Yeah, about halfway down and rattled back out. And uh, we're going to get a lane violation on the Monarch. So Lane. Not able to convert on the foul, but it is already the seventh great men foul as they have 17 fouls to the Monarchs, just four. So free throws the rest of the way here in the first half of the Monarchs. We still have 6.05 to play in this second quarter. Great men's Jenna Maller has it right side trying to get Schroeder or Schrader rather open for a three, and she knocked it down. Jacqueline Schrader able to knock down the three. It's 18-14 after the three, back within four comes Great Ben. She can shoot that ball. We've seen that before. Shippers gave it up, then posts right back up, goes to the left hand and knocks down the little jumper. So Emily Shippers is able to repost. She has four, and it's 20 to 14. 535 and counting here in this first half. Monarch's lead is six once again. Maller, right side, her pass deflected. They're able to get it back. Now they'll kick it for Unruh. She'll take the long two and miss it short as Kylie Allen down with her fourth first half rebound. Uh, she's able to work against the pressure into the backcourt after Gray Ben was really reaching in and being aggressive on that end. Now posting up as Shippers draws the double team. We'll kick it out. Here's an Adele Riedel left wing three that's too strong. Rebound tipped into the hands of Kylie Allen and she's going to be fouled. Allen already with five first half rebounds after pulling down that offensive board and another chance here for the Monarchs. Number 21, Taryn Warren. Her first. I mean, Taryn Warren's eight, first. It's the eighth team foul. Two, one, one, so one, Allen will shoot a one and one. Kylie Allen. The Monarchs for 18 boards, eight offensive boards here in the first so, half. Allen knocks home the first one. She's a 50% free throw shooter, but gives the Monarchs a seven point lead. She knocks down that first one, 21 14, 503. Out of play here in this first half, and Allen rattles on the second one as well. So Kylie with seven first half points, and the Monarchs lead is eight again at 22 to 14. Other end, here's a quick three that is good again. It is again Schroeder with a three, her second of the quarter. She has six, it's 22 17 with 445 and counting in this first half. Monarchs will get it to the high post as Shippers throws it inside, left uh, left block for Lane, and now after the uh, missed shot by Emily Lane underneath, Emily Shippers is going to be called for her second foul. Foul is by number two, Emily Shippers, her second. A bit too over-aggressive, trying to go for the offensive rebound. It's the fifth Monarch team foul. With 4.30 to go here in the second quarter. Monarch's lead is 22-17. Great Ben coming back the other way with Warren. Picked up her dribble and now ball off the foot of Maller. Tracks it down with Allen right behind her near the midcourt line. And we're going to get an offensive foul. Emily Lane able to rotate over and draw the foul on Jenna Maller. The seventh turnover. And it's the second foul on Maller. As the Monarch defense able to draw the offensive foul, and they'll get it back. Oh, great job again by Emily Lane, just getting to his spot. She kind of set up camp there, <laughs> let her run right into her. 
420 and counting here in the second quarter. Monarch lead is 5 at 22 17. Left side for Adele Riedel. And they get it in the lane. It wasn't blocked by Schroeder and taken away. She's made a big impact here in this second quarter. And now here comes Unruh. Unruh will race up the floor and can't finish. Good defense by Wassinger. Rebound pulled out of there by Lane. And now it's Riedel into the front court. Got to the free throw line and knocks down the jumper. Pulled up and knocked it down. As Adele Riedel now with five here in the second quarter. 24 17 after the field goal for Riedel. Monarchs with the lead. And Unruh will slide in, got all the way to the bucket, and Kaylee Unruh back to all. Four for Unruh, 24 to 19. As Unruh was able to get past Emily Lyon and lay it home. Three and a half to go in this first half and a back and forth battle so far. Monarchs have led by eight a couple of times, including here in this second quarter. Low will play it for Kylie Allen. Allen already with seven first quarter poor first half points. Here's a three right side for Del Riedel. Can't convert and rebound cleared out of there by Kaylee Unruh. Unruh had nearly had it poked away from behind by Riedel who continues to harass her all the way up the floor and forces a missed layup and Sasha Wassinger comes down for the defensive rebound. 24-19, Monarchs with a five-point lead under three minutes to play here in this first half. Lane has it poked away into the hands of Mowler, and they battle for it, and we're going to get a held ball with Mowler in low, and the alternate possession belongs to Gray Pitt. Second Monarch turnover here in this second quarter, but they have seven in the first half. With 2.51 to go in the quarter. Ray Bendy is going to get the timeout. Just making Hamel returns to the Monarch lineup. Actually by five at 24-19. Yeah, not, not able to get a lot of separation, like you said, an eight-point lead, but uh, Great Ben hanging in there right now with them, and they've had just a couple of sloppy possessions at the Monarchs to turn the ball over, so clean up a few things and maybe get some separation here. They brought to a part by Horizon Appliance and Electronics, Steel Fabrications, Next Deck, Discount Siding. Also brought to you by Lewis Automotive Group, Lifetime Dental Care, Insurance Planning, and Dave's Auto Repair. Monarchs open the game on an 8-2 run, led by 8 in that first quarter. At 12-4, we're up by 7 after 1. Built an 8-point lead a moment ago. And now we're up by just... Five at 24-19. Great Ben with Schroeder into the front court. Plays the right side for Unruh. She gets cut off on the double team. We'll find her sister, Sydney, who drives in. Got by Wassinger, but can't finish as Lane comes down with a rebound. She'll play it for Adele Riedel, and it'll be knocked out of bounds by Gray Ben as the Monarchs can't get that fast break going, but still force good defensive stop, and now the Monarchs will get the ball back. A two and a half to go here in the second quarter. Hamill's going to step into a straightaway three that is off the mark, but a rebound down the lane. She'll kick it out left side. It's Adele Riedel who can't convert, and cleared out of there by Schroeder. So the Monarchs get a couple of looks, but just cannot quite convert. Now on the other end, here's a quick three by Unruh that's off the mark badly as it hit off the side of the glass and a rebound tipped into the hands of Adele Riedel who has five first half rebounds. Right side, Monarchs go to Jillian Lowe. Lane's posting up, but Lowe will force it inside. Now to Wassinger straight on top of the key. Adele Riedel's open. Adele sets, fires, and buried it from that left wing. Big shot for Adele Riedel trying to get her shot going. She has eight all in the second quarter. Monarchs lead is 27-19. You got to keep looking for it because they're leaving her wide open. Dell scored the last five for the Monarchs. Here's Unruh. Passes right side for Keller, who's back in. That is Sydney Unruh, who leaves a three short. Rebound tipped around, and it will be pulled down by Emma Wassinger, who's into the game for the first time. And we're going to get a foul on the Monarchs. We'll reach in and commit the foul. That'll be the second on Megan. With a minute and a half to go here in this first half, Monarchs' lead is eight again in 27-19. And Allie Allen's going to check in for the Monarchs. Sure, replace Hamel, who has those two fouls. So Monarchs go with a little bit bigger lineup this time. So they have two post players and Allen out there. Now posting up inside is Harbaugh. Doubled. She'll kick it out. Latham won't shoot it. And we're going to get a, a second call inside. So Monarchs will get it back. Gray Bings turned it over for the eighth time here in the first half. Minute 20 and counting here in this half. Monarchs lead 27-19 and have the basketball. 
Monarchs with shippers on that left wing. Ball at her hip. She'll dump it inside for Wassinger. She draws a double. Kick it out. There's a rainbow jumper from the free throw line that is just short by Emily Lane, and it's pulled down by Keller. Keller and nearly threw it away. As it was uh, Wassinger who got it, but Sasha almost got it. Instead, it was Wa uh, Emma Wassinger for the uh, Great Bend Lady Panthers. As Latham dribbles around a screen from Schroeder. Great Bend will play it left side. Now here's a skip right side for Schroeder. She'll drive in, backs up, kicks it out. Here's a long two from just inside the free throw line for Emma Wassinger. Wassinger had six against TMP in that first meeting. It's 27-21 with under 40 seconds to go here in this first half. Monarchs with the lead. And now the Monarchs turn it over. Schroeder stepped in the passing lane. Monarchs not on the same page that time. And now Schroeder with Keller finds Latham. And Latham traveled with it. The Monarchs get a break on the ninth great bin turnover. He might just six at 27-21. Megan Hamel will check in for the Monarchs. She's going to replace Jillian Lowe. 23 seconds to go. Here in this first half, and now Gray Ben comes with some pressure. Allen able to get it across the timeline with a, with a crossover. That should go left side for Adele Riedel. 13 to go here in this first half. Monarchs get it to Hamel with nine. Megan surveys the defense. Looks at Coach McFarland on the sideline. With five to go, they'll get it to Lane. Out of Hamel. Posting up his Wassinger. Turn around, banks it home to beat the buzzer. Good offensive play to end the first half. Sasha Wassinger able to bank it home. She has four, and the Monarchs take a 29-21 lead into the uh, halftime break as they lead the Great Bend Lady Panthers by eight at 29-21. Monarchs get a, a good balanced performance, seven in the first half to lead the way for the Monarchs for Kylie Allen. Meanwhile, Gray Ben with six from Jacqueline Schroeder, the junior on a pair of second quarter threes. At halftime, Monarchs lead 29-21 on the Monarch Sports Network, serviced by Dave's Auto Repair. This high school sports presentation is brought to you by Service Master Clean. From the major accidents to the minor incidents, Service Master Clean of Hayes. Corey, Pam, and the entire staff supports the efforts of Hayes High and TMP. Call today at 628-6712. Insurance plan. Insurance for the way you work and live. For business, home, and family. Value the price. Remember the service. Insurance planning. IPI Financial Services and Ag Pro Crop Insurance. Thirsties. Before or after the game, the best place for a hungry family, team, or individual is on North Vine and Hayes. It's Thirsty's Brew Pub and Grill. Check out their all-time favorites and new items on the menu, too. Patty Bacon Ryan Appraising, the lead provider of real estate valuations for the mortgage lending marketplace. With many years of experience, they have a proven track record. Contact Patty Bacon Ryan today. Next Tech Wireless. We are avid supporters of local high school athletic programs and have sponsored numerous high school events. We are committed to serving the communities we're in. Master Cleaners, reminding you that they have the lowest tux prices around. For your next prom, wedding, or special event, remember Master Cleaners. Cross Manufacturing, a proud supporter of local activities including local sports. It's Cross Manufacturing. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty. Patty Stoll has helped people find the homes of their dreams for many years. If you're ready to list, sell, and buy, contact Coldwell Banker Executive Realty of Hayes. Steel Fabrications. At Steel Fabrications, they know how to do it right. They also wish all the local high school athletes well in all they do. Lifetime Dental. Lifetime Dental Care provides your family health, function, and beauty. Check out all of their services at LifetimeDentalCare.com. Lifetime Dental Care of Hayes, always accepting new patients. Commercial Builder. Whether it's building a home, business, or even a remodel, Commercial Builders is ready to help you. Give them a call the next time you're needing construction. Whiskey Creek. When you have an appetite for the smoky flavors of food from the wood-fired grill, Whiskey Creek are always a great addition to your day. Paul Wurdenberger Construction. Designing and building residential and commercial. Building dreams for over 30 years. Paul Wurdenberger Construction. 
TMP Marion alumni. Through the dedication of students, parents, teachers, and alumni members, the focus is on Christian values and community awareness. TMP, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. McDonald's of Hayes, a great place to go for you or the team on your way to and from the game. McDonald's, supporting local academic and sporting activities. GNL Tire, more than just tires, they do oil changes, alignments, brake service, transmission flushes, any kind of service work including tires by Firestone and Bridgestone. Hayes Chevrolet, they have a huge selection of brand new Chevy cars, trucks, vans, SUVs and a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. See them online at HayesChevrolet.com. NCK Tech. No matter what life you're trying to create, NCK Tech is here to help build a strong foundation, your local supporter of community events. Golden Plains Credit Union. We are dedicated to making a difference, not only in the lives of our members, It's being able to hang around and, and they haven't got a big separation. So if they clean that up here in the second half, get a good run here to start this second quarter, they could uh, they could uh, pull away a little bit and get some of that separation they've been looking for. Also, one more update to get to you. Plainville leads Ellenwood at halftime at 35 to 27. Monarchs will start the second half of the basketball, shooting down to our left in front of their bench here in the second half. And here's a near steal as Jenna Maller jumped the passing lane right in front of us and nearly came away with a Monarch turnover. Instead, luckily that ball goes out of bounds and it will stay with the Monarchs. So just seconds in, 10 seconds in here to this third quarter. Monarchs will key it in and another pass that was deflected but into the hands of Shippers. She'll kick it out for Julian Lowe as the Monarchs get bailed out on that pass deflection. Battle lane at the high post. She'll kick it for Adele Riedel. Adele with a right side three that misses everything and the rebound goes out of bounds off of Shippers. Adele did have a three in that first quarter in that first half rather there uh, but struggling to shoot the ball as the rebound goes back to Gray Ben. So that I have to go here in the third. Great bend with Alyssa Keller on a pass that's too tall, but tracked down by uh, Kaylee Unruh. Good defense by Riedel to pick up her dribble. Now to Jenna Maller, who has it right side. She'll get a screen from Unruh, drive into the lane, and have it knocked away and stolen as Jillian Lowe comes up with a steal. Good defense to force a turnover, and then Smith got it right back from Lowe, who will spin on the block and can't quite lay it home. And the ball taken out of there by the Monarchs, Emily Shippers. So each team turns it over, and they each have 10. In turnovers and now another near turnover. Slow had it knocked away. Jillian will get a back and fire from just outside the elbow and knock down the long two. So Jillian Lowe with a bucket to start at the second half has six. 31 21. Monarchs lead by 10. It's their largest lead. Great band really over aggressively playing every co pass cut. So maybe some backdoor cuts might become available. They'll post up Smith, fires and rattled at home in among the trees. Smith. The sophomore giving up some height inside, but able to score. It's 31-23. Monarchs lead again, cut to eight with six and a half to go here in the third. And now we get a pushing call on Kaylee Unruh as the <laughs> senior Unruh will be called for the foul. It's her first. She's going to check out. Schroeder returns to the lineup. And she had a couple of threes against the Monarchs there in that first half. She checks back in after the foul on Unruh. Riedel used up her dribble, finds Emily Lane, straight on. Emily will drive left side, now cut off, kicks it out for Riedel. Adele, this is a deep three that goes. Good shot for Adele Riedel, it struggled to find the range, but out that one to go, she's got 11, on actually 34-23. They're packing it in and leaving her so wide open, she's got to shoot her way out of it. And here's a uh, jumper on the other end for Candace Smith from close to the free throw line, six for her, 35 
Cooper, a 34-25 Monarch lead again is nine under six minutes to play third. Here's a pass too tall for Shippers and it's taken away by Gray Bend. The Panthers will come into the front court with Keller. Finds Unruh, skip pass left side for Schroeder. Guarded by Shippers, now gets it back to Unruh. Sydney gives it up to Schroeder as they play catch on the left side. Now set a screen, Schroeder around that pick and Lowe reaches in and commits the foul. So Julian will pick up her second personal foul. Megan Hamel ready to check in here at the scores table. With uh, 5.37 to play in the third, Lowe will check out. So Megan Hamel checks in here for the Monarchs. With 5.37 to go here in the third, Mowler and Unruh has it left side. She got to the baseline and draws the foul, and it's a blocking foul on Emily Lane, who will pick up her first. Well, good idea to try to step down there because this is a team, again, they like to drive until somebody cuts you off. If you don't cut them off, they go all the way to the rim. Second team foul on the Monarchs. They lead by nine as Great Bend will key it in. Pass deflected by Reedo, but Unruh gets it back. She'll play it to Keller. Baseline three. That's good. Keller knocks down a three. 34. Monarchs will race into the front court with uh, Kylie Allen, and she double dribbled with a good idea to get in the lane, but... Monarchs turn it right back over. 12 Monarch turnovers. 5.23 to go here in the third. Monarchs now extend their pressure as Unruh working against Allen. Little setter step drives inside and draws the foul on the Monarchs. Shippers too late rotating over and the Monarchs pick up the third foul on Shippers. Team they got opportunity to do that because they just put their oh, head down and drive. And like you said, if Emily gets there just a shade earlier, she picks up that charge. Shippers will check out as Sasha Wassinger will check in for the Monarchs and Schroeder will key it in. Monarchs lead 34 28. Here's a pass stolen away. Good play by Hamel and she took that pass away into the corner. Plays it for Reed, a little crossover for Adele. Got her to fit her up in the air and flips up the left handed layup. And the layup is good for Adele Reed, who's got. 13, 36, 28 after the steal and layup for Del Riedel. Well, good recognition where the defense was and patience to just draw him off. Schroeder trying to post up, kicks it out. Here's a three that rattles halfway down and out. Walsinger had the rebound taken away by Mallory. And the tie-up will keep it with Gray Bend as Callan DeWitt will check in for the first time for the Monarchs. She's going to place, replace Walsinger. And also Taryn Warren, the freshman, checks in for Great Bend as they bring in Warren on the post and sub out Alyssa Keller. Here's a pass that is for Candace Smith on the left side. Missed it. There's Emily Lane down with the rebound, and then Great Bend reaches in and commits the foul. Emily, Emily got tied up, bringing it down around her waist. Instead, they'll get a foul on Smith. It's her second. Well, they're going to have to continue doing a good job on the glass, but when they come down... Great Bend really slapping at it. Got to be strong inside there, and Emily was that time. Seven rebounds of the game before Emily Lane coming off of a season-high 12 and career-high. Now a pass through the hands of Callan DeWitt. As that one was rifled inside, and the Monarchs turn it over. 13 Monarch turnovers with 4.27 to play here in the third. Monarchs lead is 36-28. As Monarchs will extend the pressure. Ashlyn Harbaugh checked in a moment ago for Gray Bend. Mauer has it in the backcourt against this Monarch press. She lost it. Arda by Hamel. Good defense by Hamel. Now into the front court. Here comes the trap. Gray Bend able to get it right side for Unruh. There's a skip pass for Schroeder. Adam Mauer straight on top of the key. 4 to play here in the third. Schroeder trying to get it into the post. Had it knocked away, did Harbaugh. And then a late reach in call is, they'll call it on Hamel. The wit got away with a foul early, but Megan's going to pick up her third. So already the fourth team foul on the Monarchs. Four of six to play here in the third. And in conversations with Coach McFarland, she said that's what you want to avoid is getting into foul trouble against this Gray Bend team. As Unruh has it left side, she'll drive in all the way down the lane, and a tough layup goes. Sydney Unruh has five, and it's a six-point Monarch lead at 36. Unruh. With under four minutes to play here in this third quarter. Rito picked up her dribble, needs some help, goes to Kylie Allen right side. Kylie had seven in the first half, hasn't scored here in the second half. Adele Riedel thought about a three on this left wing. Instead, we'll find Lowe. Long two just inside the top of the key and knocked it down. Jillian Lowe with a deep two. Lowe with nine now. Uh, make it eight in the contest. So the Monarchs have a 38-30 lead. 
They're going to have to play in the third as the Monarchs settle back in that defensive look. You know, a timeout taken by Coach uh, Karen Minton for the uh, Lady Panthers. She wants a full timeout to talk things over. Uh, keep it right here. The Monarchs have an eight point lead at 38 30. Have been unable to uh, really find any. Face it all from this Great Bend team. Got up by 10 early in this third, but Great Bend's been hanging right tough. Well, they're playing scrappy. Uh, defense, they, they're slapping the ball, getting some loose balls. And like you said, they're just kind of hanging around, and that's what you don't want for a team uh, that uh, might be lacking in confidence. Score update at halftime from Abilene. Abilene on top of the Pace High Lady Indians, 23 to 16. That's the Indians on the road in Abilene. That's a battle of top 10 ranked teams. The scoreboard update for you. Our broadcast made possible in part by High Plains Farm Credit, Edward Jones, Dale Jeff, and Linda Simon. Ellis County Abstract and Title Company, State Glass Company, Thomas Moore, Brett Mary at High, Field Abstract and Title, also brought to you by Roofmasters and Jeter Law Firm. So out of the timeout, it will be Great Bend Basketball. Uh, Sydney Unruh, the sophomore, will key it in. Unruh, Unruh, throw it into Maller, then got it right back to Unruh. With under 3.20 to play in the third. Monarchs lead by eight at 38-30. Here's a pass for Schroeder on that right side. Trying to set up Unruh for a three. Instead, Schroeder's cut off on the dribble. Now they will go to Unruh left side. Posting up is Harbaugh. Draws a double team. Kick it out. Can't shoot the three. Instead, a long two that goes. Before Sidney Unruh has seven. 38-32 after the bucket by Unruh. Under three minutes to play here in the third quarter. Monarchs still with that six-point lead now. And a pass knocked away by Gray Benz Maller. She knocked it away from Kylie Allen. They pinned to one win on the season, a one in 16, but they have been close last couple of times. Here's a lob over the top for Allen. Kylie can't track it down. Saves it, though, right in front of Coach Rose McFarland and then saved it out of bounds. Monarchs have struggled offensively. Another turnover. That's their 14th. And Coach McFarland wants a timeout. 2.45 to play here in the third. 38-32, Monarchs lead by six. As they get the timeout here. I'm just again, just trying to settle down and, and kind of collect things. They had a good That's great been again play, overplaying everything on the passing lanes, but uh, just got to clean it up. Work on it. Not been the best offensive performance for the Monarchs as they continue to struggle, but still lead 38-32. Our game brought to you part by Shelter Insurance agent Dustin Shoemaker, Adams Brown Baird and Ball, High Plains Griffin, Redeem Design. Also brought to you by Classic Quality Body Shop, Hertz Rental Car, Barron's Lawn Care, and Nutrient Ag Solutions of Hayes and Lacrosse. Schroeder will key it in for the Great Bend Lady Panthers, right down in front of us, out there with Unruh Mowler, along with Harbaugh and Warren the five on the floor. Lady Monarchs back in that man-to-man -man defense. Still playing here left side. And we're going to get a travel call. So the Monarchs force a turnover. Is Harbaugh call for step. It's the 12th turnover for Great Bend. Monarchs have 14 in the ballgame so far. They're out there with Wassinger, Lane, Riedel, Allen, and Lowe running the point. And El Riedel has it left side. Should go to the elbow and up again inside is Lane to Wassinger. Tough catch for Sasha on that left low block and couldn't finish. And Maller comes out of there with it. Unruh will race up the front court. Unruh all the way to the bucket and can't score it as Sasha Wassinger comes down with a defensive rebound. And then she's got players draped all over after pulling down her fifth rebound of the contest. Low into the front court. Jillian stops left side for Kylie Allen. Allen will put it on the floor. Dress inside as it blocked, as it's blocked by Harbaugh and taken away by Maller. Schroeder left side as Great Bent races into the front court. Schroeder with contact will draw the foul as Lane was late rotating over and free throws coming up for Jacqueline Schroeder. Fouls on number 10, Emily Lane, her second. That's the second on Emily, Emily Lane. Monarchs 15 foul, the man 52 Schroeder. to play here in this third quarter. Schroeder a 60 percent free throw shooter. And the other first one, nothing but net. Order was seven. 38-33. And 
the second one is short. Rebound down to Kylie Allen. Allen with six rebounds in this one as she'll race it in the front court. Left side. And Del Rito got her to fit her up in the air. Instead, we'll take the long two. Missed it, but loose there to clean up on the backside. Jillian Lowe with the offensive rebound and put back. Lowe with 10. 40 to 33 on the Jillian Lowe layup. She's got four straight for the Monarchs. Fortunately, they're almost two minutes apart. Other end, there's a jumper that rides home over Jim Allen. 40 to 35, as she was able to get that one to go as it took a nice friendly hop on the rim. And Great Ben gets the home court advantage on that bounce. Here's a pass inside, and Lane bobbled it out of bounds. Monarchs with their 15th turnover here in the contest. Monarchs. Lead 40 to 35 with that bucket for Lowe. Those two field goals come just less than two minutes apart. As they were held almost two minutes without a field goal. Now the Monarchs try to trap into the front court. Pass was deflected, but Schroeder tracks it down on the right side. Monarchs step back in the zone now, and here's a ball on the floor picked up by Harbaugh. She'll put up the shot and draw the foul on Wassinger. Monarchs nearly came away with a steal instead. Sasha's going to pick up her second. Harbaugh will shoot a couple of free throws. Monarchs already have 16 fouls, so the next foul on the Monarchs will put Ray Ben in the bonus. Harbaugh's free throw is too strong. Harbaugh, 65% free throw shooter, going to shoot one more. Trying to cut the deficit to just four. Second free throw on the way. It's too strong, and Jillian Lowe down with the rebound. Lowe will push it up the floor to Riedel. She rifles it left side for Allen, who bobbled it and out of bounds. Monarchs can't convert on the fast break, and they have 16 turnovers here in this one. They just have <laughs> missed several opportunities just like that, where they just aren't completing plays, fumbling, fumbling the ball out of bounds. Sophomore Unruh leading the point. Sydney will play it left side for Maller. Ball above her head, guarded by Lowe. Julian tried to reach in and poke it away. Here's a backdoor lob for Unruh. Got in among the trees, pulls it down. Free. Nearly had a double, or uh, neither rather, nearly had a held ball, but instead will get a three second call on the back side. This will be on Harbaugh, who is in the lane a little bit too long. And great bid with their 13th turnover. 25 seconds to go here in the third. Monarchs lead is just five at 40 to 35. The pass for Kylie Allen, left side, guarded by Maller. Kylie surveys the defense. She's going to dribble and now play it in between the circles for Jillian Lowe with 10. She'll hold up fist. Left-handed dribble here to the left side. That will spin, pick up her dribble, finds Adele Riedel. Adele straight on with a three that will rim off. Rebound tipped up and good, and we're going to get a foul. Emily Lane got a piece of that one and then got the foul as she was able to tip it home with 1.1 second to go. Emily Lane using all of her 5'11 frame to tip it home. She has four, and the foul will be... Shoot second on Warren, and so a chance here for Lane to shoot one free throw. Well, again, a smart play, realizing there wasn't a whole lot of time on the clock, and all she did was basically just tip it in. And the free throw for Lane rattles home. Monarchs lead 43-35. Great Ben will get it into Unruh. Unruh heaves it up, and it comes up short. And we head to the third quarter. Monarchs get a little bit of a cushion thanks to that three-point play for Emily Lane, who has five. They lead by eight at 43-35 on the Monarch Sports Network. Service by Dave's Auto Repair. Dental Care is devoted to helping you, your family, and friends achieve your healthiest and brightest smile. They are now accepting new patients. Call 625-7969 to schedule your appointment. They know every person's dental needs are unique, and that is why they offer you a comprehensive selection of treatment options in a comfortable and caring atmosphere. Dr. Lowe and his dental team want you to enjoy your visit. Lifetime Dental Care, accepting new patients. Call 625-7969. Or see them at lifetimedentalcare.com. Hi, I'm Gary Shorman, President and CEO of Eagle Communications, a 100% employee-owned company. I'd like to personally thank you for selecting Eagle for your internet, television, and telephone service. By choosing Eagle, you're choosing to keep your dollars local with a company that reinvests back in your community. Let's make this a great year for your community. Check us out at eaglecom.net. Eagle Communications, our community connected. is Eagle TV. Monarchs lead 43 of 35 as we start the fourth quarter. Monarchs in the lane with a three-point play with 
1.1 second to go there in that uh, third quarter. Gives them a little bit of a cushion leading by eight again at 43-35. And they'll have the basketball to start out this fourth quarter. So they'll go to a 1-4 set. Play it left side for Del Reed. They'll have a baseline for Lowe. Julian's going to lob it over the top for Shippers. Emily can't quite handle it, uh, handle it and it's taken away by Ashlyn. Harbaugh, it's the 17th Monarch turnover. Ray Bend into the front court with Maller. Left side, she'll kick it out for Candace Smith. Smith set much of that fourth quarter, third quarter on the bench, and then she fell down at a turnover that's taken away by the Monarchs Adele Riedel. She'll race into the front court, pull up from just inside the uh, three-point line, miss it, but a rebound down to Emily Lane, who has eight rebounds in the contest, and the Monarchs will reset their offense. And Riedel traveled with it. So it, uh, Adele all for the travel, just couldn't quite get the ball on the floor in time. Monarchs have 18 turnovers, great bid with 14. Megan Hamel will return to the Monarch lineup. Uh, she replaces Adele Riedel, Coach Rose McFarland chatting with her on the sideline. Monarchs had some extended pressure as Unruh working against Lowe will play at left side for Schroeder. With seven minutes to go here in this one. Monarchs lead is eight at 43-35. And we get a, a travel called on Schroeder as she had picked up her dribble. Gray Bin gives it right back to the Monarchs. So Gray Bin's going to extend their pressure a little bit as Kylie Allen will key it in. Finds Lowe. Julian in the backcourt will bring it across the timeline against that pressure. And now the Monarchs will play left side for Hamel. Hamel try to go to the baseline. Instead, we'll post up Shippers and we get a foul on Schroeder underneath. So Jacqueline Schroeder called for the foul. That's her first, and it's the team's fourth. Yeah, that was a really nice look inside as she had made herself really available. Well, lob over the top for Emily Lane, who left it short, and then goes over the back and commits the foul on Ashlyn Harbaugh. So Lane with her third personal foul, and one of one. Three throws the rest of the way here for Gray Bend. They're in the bonus. 6.50 to play here in this fourth quarter for Gray Bend. First Schroeder free throw is good. Her other first free throw for Ashlyn Harbaugh is good. Harbaugh has five now in the contest. And the second one too strong and a rebound down to Megan Hamel. So 43-36. Monarchs with the lead. Hamel into the lane. Can't quite get the layup to go. Fight for the rebound. And we're going to get a foul as Hamel was able to out-hustle Schroeder and pick up the foul. <laughs> Freshman just sticking with it. I mean, going inside tough, strong with the, with the drive and just staying with the ball. Getting that loose ball foul. Megan's going to check out. And El Reno returns to the lineup. 6.41 to play here in this one. Monarchs lead is 43-36. They'll key it in right side. Riedel bobbled it, then had it knocked away by Unruh. Adele had to go to a knee to save it, and now Coach McFarland will get the timeout before the turnover. So the Monarchs able to get the timeout and avoid a turnover with 6.35 to go here in this one. 43-36. Monarchs with the lead. Just over six and a half to go here in this one. Well, the Lady Panthers continue to just play scrappy basketball. And I mean, you, you're loose with your hands on that basketball. They're coming after it. Going to slap it away. Our game brought to you part by Service Master Fleet of Hayes. Thirsty's Brew Pub and Grill. Patty Bacon Ride Appraising. Next Deck Wireless. Also brought to you by Masters Cleaners. Cross Manufacturing. Caldwell exec, Executive, or a Banker Executive Realty. And also Commercial Builder. 6.35 to go here in this one. Monarchs on top by 7 at 43.36. Led by as many as 10. At 4 at 31.21. And led by 11 at one point as well. 34-23, that was their largest lead. Ray Bend has not went away. So cut it to five a moment ago. And now again, back within seven here at 43-36. Monarchs with Lane, Riedel, Shippers, Allen, and Lowe, the five on the floor. So key it in, hops at the bench, posting up his Shippers, brought it down, and is going to be battle for it on the floor and a tie-up of the arrow belonging to Gray Bend. She saw the double team come, and the Monarchs with 19 turnovers here in this one. Yeah, again, just putting the ball on the floor, and they crashed down with that help on top. 
On a roll race up the far sideline. Allen knocked it away. Good play as Allen was able to knock it away. And then Shippers uh, looked like she may have got fouled as she came up with the loose ball. But instead, she'll take it all the way to the other end and can't quite convert on the uh, layup. As Gray Pin will pull out of there with it. So the Monarchs can't quite convert on the fast break. Arbaugh at the high post can't hang it on, or uh, rather can't hand it off. And we're going to get a foul called on the Monarchs here is back to the free throw line goes Harbaugh. Uh, she went one of two at the line a moment ago. They call the foul on Jillian Lowe. A little reach in foul. And the free throw in and out and then skips off. Rebound tipped in the hands of Schroeder as she'll pull down her third rebound and now it's taken away. It's Kylie Allen with it. Allen up to the other end. Missed the layup. Fight for the rebound. Zadel Riedel gets on the deck to tie up with Maller. And the arrow will belong to the Lady Monarchs. So the Monarchs able to put the basketball back on the tie up. Taryn Warren will check in. She plays, replaces Harbaugh who will check out. With 5.56 to go in this one, Monarchs lead 43-36. Great pin, hanging tough. Monarchs Jillian Lowe will key it in on a bounce pass to Shippers. Lowe posting up on Maller, forces up the shot with some contact. Can't quite get it to go, and the rebound cleared out of there by Warren. Now Lowe trying to force the turnover on the near sideline as she sticks right with Warren. The freshman, a little bit of contact, able to get it to Unruh. Can't finish, offensive rebound, Smith. And she'll get it to back to go. Candace Smith with eight. 43-38, five and a half to go here in this one. Great bend, that's the lead again to five for the Lady Monarchs. It's Riedel at the high post for Shippers. Shippers, guarded by Schroeder, one dribble and slides down the lane and draws the foul. Shippers with a good move, the Monarchs need that and need a couple of free throws here for Shippers. Will shoot her first two free throws of the game. That was already the fourth on Smith. Shooting two will be Shippers. And yeah, the first free throw for Shippers is good. Shippers now with five in the contest. It's Monarch first point of the fourth quarter. It comes to the 520 mark. 44-38. Coach Carrie Minton asking for an explanation as she'll in the sub to the scores table. Shippers makes both. Emily now with six in the contest. 45-38. Monarchs lead by seven again. And they bring Unruh back into the contest. She nearly lost it on the sideline. Almost traveled with it. Right in front of coach Mo Rose McFarlane. Said a great bend. will get it into the front court. Warren lost it on the dribble in the left baseline in a fight for the rebound. And they held ball between Shippers and Warren will keep the arrow with Gray Bend, or the ball on the alternate possession stays with Gray Bend. 5.08 to go here in this fourth quarter. Gray Bend to key it in. They just do get it into Warren. Got the defender up in the air. That ball partially deflected by Emily Lane, who's fouled on the rebound. And now with 5.05 to go here in this fourth quarter, Monarchs will be in the bonus after the 17th foul on Gray Bend. Emily Lane already with 10 rebounds. Another good performance by her on the glass. And a couple of, at least a one-on-one -on -one here for Lane as she heads back to the free throw lot. First free throw for Lane, too strong. Allen down with the rebound. Kylie goes back up and she's fouled. So Kylie Allen down with her seventh rebound and then is headed to the free throw line. And Kylie banged up on the play. She's a little bit slow to get up. Call it on Haley Unruh. It's her second. And might be just a cramp, but Allen dealt with a little knee nagging knee issue after the Christmas break. Got it banged into, but yeah, you're right. It looks like just trying to stretch out a cramp as she. Reach for the tip of her toe. I think Hamel's going to check in. Allen will come to her Thank feet. And if the senior parents going to please report to the West check out. And senior parents and their so they'll please. take a look at Kylie. But again, just look like possible cramps. They brought 
Hamel into the ball game to shoot the free throws. Uh, she'll shoot the one-on-one -on -one for Allen. And the free throw is good. They get a two-shot foul as Hamel with her first point of the game. And the Monarch lead is 46-38 on the first point of the game for Megan Hamel and knocks down them both. But uh, Adele Rito was into the lane early. Monarch's lead is eight once again at 46-38. 5.05 to go here in this fourth quarter. Great men with the basketball. Onru and Maller in the backcourt as the Monarchs extend a little man-to-man -man pressure. Now here comes the double team as Maller able to drive past it, slide in the lane, and got a chance at a three-point play as Shippers try to rotate over, and Emily's going to pick up her fourth. And the free throw line goes to Maller for a chance here at a three-point play. 46 to 40. 455 to go here in this one. Shippers picks up her fourth. It's a modern ninth. As we get a timeout taken by Coach Rose McFarland here is she takes the timeout to talk things over. Reminding Shippers she has four personal fouls now. As the Monarch's lead is come back to six here at 46-40. Yeah, it's, it's just like they're kind of holding them at arm's length the whole the whole ball game getting no separation really to speak of throughout and Big Ben just keeps hanging around I right, got one brought to you in part by Whiskey Freak Wood Fire Grill, Paul Wartenberger Construction, McDonald's of Hayes. Also brought to you by GNL Tire and Automotive, A Chevrolet, NCK Tech, Golden Plains Credit Union, and Equal Communication. So after the bucket for Mallard, she's got a chance here for a three-point play. And the free throw all the way too strong. And the rebound down to Lane. It will save it for Megan Hamel. Hamel then had it poked away by Maller, who's able to save it to Harbaugh. Harbaugh goes into the lane as it partially deflected by Lane. And then we get a held ball and a rebound. And the arrow belongs to the Monarchs. So a break for the Monarchs as Taryn Warren nearly had a layup and Megan Hamels down. And twisted that ankle. As she went down trying to save the rebound. Kylie Allen checks in for her. So we will come here to the near sideline. So we're going to put some weight on that ankle, but she got tangled up in the fray. It looks like she went down with that twisted ankle, so take her to the end of the bench and take a look at her as Kylie Allen checks back in. So it's 46-40 after that uh, bucket a moment ago. Now the Monarchs able to break the Grey Bend press. Riedel on a bounce pass for Jillian Lowe. And now they'll set up the offense. Jillian in between the circles. So it's six point Monarch lead with Allen who dealing with those cramps. Checks back in and now Kylie all the way down the lane and can't quite score it. She's going to draw a foul. You can see the aggressiveness for Allen as she'll go to the free throw line to shoot what will be a two shot foul. Well, she's done that a few times here down the stretch looking for penetration and getting, getting to the foul line. Well, the free throw is good for Allen as Kylie is 3 of 3 at the line. It's 47 40. A foul was the third on Unruh. And the second Allen free throw too strong. She's battling for it, got fouled, but no call. Still pulls down the offensive rebound. She had a defender draped all over her, holding her, and was still able to draw the foul. So Monarchs will set up their offense. Go to Shippers at the high post, and they reach in and tie her up. Official here on the near sideline is going to call a foul. Official on the far sideline for a moment called a jump ball, but instead they will call Jenna Mauer for the reach in. That's the 10th team foul. So the Monarchs now in the double bonus. Shooting two for Tina Peel. Shippers will shoot two. This free throw is good. Seven now in the game for Shippers, 48-40. 414 to go here in this ball game. Second Shippers free throw is short. And the rebound cleared out of there by the senior Kaylee Unruh. Unruh plays it up the floor to her sister Sydney left side. And a Warren right side for Maller. 
above her head, finds Unruh, fake the pass, and now we'll give it up for Maller. She's going to launch a three and knock it down. Looking good, good for yeah. Jenna Maller, who has seven. 48-43, and now in here, turnover at midcourt. Kylie Allen able to corral the loose ball, and as a block by Warren, they're going to call a foul on the dribble drive. And so the free throw line again goes Kylie Allen. She had that shot blocked up top, but there's a lot of contact on the body, and quite frankly, a lot of contact on the triple drive that they let go. Yeah, it really was. Yeah. Kylie has either through a timeout but to recognize that she can take him off the dribble right now. And she's just beating them to the rim and getting the, the contact. That one spun out, so Kylie's got one more. Monarch's lead is 48-43. After the Maller three, second free throw. That one's halfway down and nearly popped back out as Allen does get that one to go. Kylie with nine. She makes one of two at the line. Monarch's lead is 49-43. Maller tried another three on the right side of it. Skip off, and it's out of bounds. Ball back to the Monarchs. So 49-43 following the Kylie Allen free throw for the Monarchs with 3.39 to go here in this one. Pressure again from Gray Ben in the backcourt. Monarchs will get it to Allen. And they've got a two-on-one as Kylie can't quite outreach the defense and then bobbled with it and she's called for the double dribble. Good idea. Monarchs. Allen, I think she saw but now Lito, I think it's Jillian Rowe up the near sideline and indecisiveness forces the 20th turnover. Yeah, and it's, it's a few plays like that. It's, it's almost like at times they've lacked a little focus to finish plays. 3.35 to go here in this one. Monarch lead is 6 at 49-43. Great men with the basketball. Mallard around the screen. Got cut out by Shippers on the baseline for Unruh. He'll drive the baseline. Never pass deflected, and it's out of bounds. Last touched by the Monarchs. 3.22 to go here in this fourth quarter. Monarchs lead by six at 49-43. Had a 12-point lead. Or an 11-point lead, rather. There in that third quarter, their largest lead of the ball game. Maller again driving as her shot partially deflected and out of bounds. As that shot was blocked by Lane. Well, he's got a piece of a couple of shots here in this one. Either altered it whether it heights or did actually get a piece of it. That one she did, as it will stay with Gray Ben. 3.14 to play here in this one. Gray Ben to key it in. They find Smith has a block by Shippers. Emily Shippers comes away with her first block of the game. And the Monarchs will get it back with three minutes to go here in this one. In the front court with Rowe. Jillian being guarded by Mallow on a bounce pass for Shippers. Slings it left side. Cowley thought about a three. Allen instead will pass it up. Here's Riedel straight on. Three. Go! And she rattled it home. Big shot for Adele Riedel. 16 for her. Monarchs needed that one. They lead 52-43. In rhythm. Other end, Gray Ben can't rattle home a Jenna Maller layup. Rebound cleared by Emily Lane, who has double figure rebounds in this one. Monarchs can set up their offense on time at 52 43. It's been closer than that much of the second. We're able to build on a little bit of a lead, and now we get a hold as Maller was. Actually, they're going to call Unruh. Maller was the one who hit the deck, but they call. Sydney Unruh for holding on to Adele Riedel trying to come off a screen and Riedel set into the line to shoot a couple of free throws is so already in a double bonus of the Monarchs. And the first free throw rattles home for Adele. 17 in the game for Riedel. Able to put the Monarchs on top here by 10 at 53-43. Riedel scored four in a row. 27 left and Riedel will make them both. It's Adele now has 18 for the Monarchs. They lead by 11 at 54-43, matching their largest lead here in the ball game. Into the lane comes Warren as it blocked by Shippers. And they're going to foul her out on a pretty clean block up top. She got her on the arm. She blocked that with two hands. She's going to foul out with 2.18 to go in the ball game. Shippers will check out. Warren's going to shoot two. Wassinger will check in. And a tough break for Italy. Shippers on a pretty clean block. 2.18 to go here in this one. The 5'9 senior Shippers will foul out. And Warren goes to the free throw line to shoot two on the double bonus. Well, two shot shooting foul anyway. And she misses the first one. So Wassinger checked in for Shippers. Walk out. 
And now Warren will shoot that second free throw and rattle it home. Karen Warren with her first point, 54-44. Comes with 2.18 to go. Monarchs out there with Lane and Wasker at midcourt. Riedel Allen into the backcourt as they work against the pressure here from Gray Bend. Lowe will get it into Allen. Kylie able to spread across the timeline and play the right side for Lane. Out of Jillian Lowe. So close in on 2.10 to go here in the fourth quarter. Mauer, all sorts of aggressiveness reaching in with contact against Lowe. And now to Kylie Allen in between the circles. Kylie has it poked away. And they do get a reach in call on Unruh. And so Unruh with her third. And now Kylie Allen back to the free throw line. Her third. So for their credit, they keep going after you. And the, and the refs have really kind of let them, <laughs> let them play for the most part. Yeah, I let uh, a lot of reach bodying on ball handlers go in this one. And the free throw is good for Kylie Allen. Allen into double figures for a third time this year in her second straight game. She has 10. That's 55-44. This is Kylie's fourth trip to the line. She's responsible for five of them, though, as Hamel shot her free throws earlier, and now she makes them both. 56-44, and Allen has 11 in the contest. And we get a great bend timeout as Coach Carrie Minton wants to chat with her team. And 156 to play here in this fourth quarter. Monarchs lead is 56-44. This is their largest lead of the contest. Here in this fourth quarter, it comes with a minute 56 to go. And the Monarchs get on top here by 12. 56-44. They're on a 10-4 run to rebuild this double-digit lead now at 12. Out of the Great Bend timeouts. No kid in. Unruh. Hard to buy low, running the point in between the circles. Looking for somebody to get open. We'll play it right side for Warren. Warren drives by Wassinger, draws the foul inside on Adele Riedel. And Taryn Warren sent it back to the free throw line where she's one of two. That one almost crawled in for a chance at a three-point play. pick up her first. But again, double digit, or uh, both teams with a double bonus. And the free throw is no good for Warren. Warren came in just a 37% free throw shooter. She's one of three. As Callan DeWitt checks in for the Monarchs. And the Second Warren free throw is going to be too strong as it bounces off and into the hands of Kylie Allen, who has nine rebounds in this one. As she will play it up the floor to Jillian Lowe with a minute 35 to go. Monarchs lead 56 44. Ravens Mauer trying to pick up the pressure on Lowe. Instead, we'll play it to Riedel. Lane and right side for Lowe. Monarchs trying to play keep away, and Mauer reaches in and commits the foul. And Jillian Lowe's headed to the free throw line. Foul's on number 11, Jenna Bowler. That'll be her fourth. Her fourth. Shooting two for Kim. And Jillian Lowe, three. Back to the Jillian free throw line. Lowe. And the first one is short. One of three at the line Six for Jillian. Three. Number 34, Candace Smith. Candace Smith will check back in, replacing Taryn Warren. Second low free throw is short, but it bounces home. And Jillian now with the 11 in the ball game as she makes one of two at the free throw line, 57 to 44, with 1.15 to go in the ball game. Maller will drive in on DeWitt, draw the foul. And Callan's going to pick up the foul, and now Maller will go to the free throw line to shoot a couple of free throws. First, Callan DeWitt foul. And Maller. The free throw line, which is 0 of 1, but knocks that one down. 8 now for Maller, 57, 45. And second one good as well, 57, 46. Maller with 9 in the contest, and the Monarchs turn it over. 112 to go here. Monarchs pass too tall for Adele Riedel. Turn it over 21 times now in the ball game. 
And it's great bid will key it in. With a minute, 10 to go. 57-46. Monarchs lead is 11. Here's a pass right side for Latham, who's back in. Now top of the key, Maller draws the double team. Drives in as it knocked away, and it's stolen. Good play by the Monarchs and the double team as Julian Lowe will take it away. Rifles it to midcourt for Adele Riedel. That's the 19th Rayburn turnover. As Monarchs play keep away with Riedel and Lowe into the front court. Out of Kylie Allen right side. 45 seconds to go. Monarchs slow, trying to keep it away from Maller. Out of Riedel here on the near side. Bounce pass straight on for Allen. They're trying to reach in and foul Kylie Allen. And uh, they finally do as Latham will pick up the foul. That's her third, and Allen headed back to the free throw line. Well, maybe for a little bit they were going to let it play out and just play aggressive defense. Let quite a bit of time run off before they finally fouled. And the first of two for Allen is good. 12 for Kylie, which matches her season high and her career high, 58-46. She's matched her career high in back-to-back -back games now at 12. A chance to break it here. Like a free throw is off the mark. And the rebound tracked down by Candace Smith. Ray Penn trails by 12 at 58-46. They'll come into the front court with Maller. Play the right side for Warren. She'll take the long two. Can't bank at home. Rebound, though, inside to Maller. And she's going to draw the foul on the Monarchs' Kylie Allen. The foul is on the 32. Kylie Allen, her first. It's the first on Allen. And free throws for Jenna Maller, who just made two a moment ago. And Rattles on the first one. 58-47. As Alyssa Keller checks into the game. Now we're into double figures now with 10. She scored eight here in this fourth quarter. Second one on the way. That one's short. Rebound down to Smith, and she'll follow it home. Candace Smith with 10. 58-49. Monarchs with 15 seconds to go here in this ball game. We'll get a foul on Jenna Maller, and that will do it for Maller. She'll foul out with 15.2 seconds to go in the ball game. As Kaylee Underwood will replace her, and Adele Rita will go to the free throw line to shoot a couple of free throws here for the Monarchs. Monarchs lead 58-49. And the first Riedel free throw is short. Up to that point, she was a perfect three of three. She's 18 in the contest, trying to match her season high. And the second one is good. So she'll match her season high of 19. And the Monarchs lead is 10 again at 59-49. Into the front court is Unruh. All the way to the bucket. Throws up the shot. Missed it. And rebound down to low with eight seconds to go. Jillian, we're going to get some pressure here in the backcourt. We'll rifle it ahead to Allen. Stops in the left wing. We'll play it to the lead. And the Lady Monarchs will hold on and come away with a 10-point victory as they hold off a great win. Lady Panthers tonight winning 59 49 in a game in which the Monarchs struggled, turned it over 21 times in the contest. But we're still able to come away with a 10 point victory, winning 59 49 tonight. The Monarchs move to 13 and 4 on the season. Great win falls to 1 and 6. Monarchs have won a season high six in a row. Great win with their 14th straight loss, 59 49 the final. Monarchs get three into double figures. Led by the 19 of Adele Riedel. That matches her season high. Kylie Allen with 12 to match her season and career high. And then 11 for Jillian Lowe as she gets into double figures for a fifth time this season. In a while, 10 from Jenna Maller, who scored eight in that fourth quarter. Our final tonight, 59-49. The Lady Service by Days Auto Repair.